Steve Levitino, our uh, equipment manager back there. Steve. All right, they're there. All right, Jen Wilson, director of marketing over there. Director of fundraising, Trisha Coe. Here she is, the MVP. And any other staff members I'm missing? I'm not saying. Uh, Mark Farr, our DJ. Where's Mark Farr, DJ? There he is. There he is. There he is. Director of Media Relations and Broadcasting. <laughs> Who else we got here? Who else we got? Anyone? Okay, all right. Where's Marcy? Marcy Calavich. Marcy, come on out here. Director of Community Relations. Marcy will put together. All right. One other big guy in the building tonight. Oh, there's Guy Google on me back there. <laughs> This guy, I know, wants to come up and say a few words. He is the Danbury Whalers president, senior partner, chief financial officer, and all around great guy, talented. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thank you fans, guys. Tomorrow night, that's all yeah. I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get a ring. Okay. Um, you know what? We're gonna bring up. We're gonna bring up our captain, Nick Deshanes, right here. Nick Deshanes. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. Um, yeah, I just want to say I'm very excited to be here. Um, I want to thank the Mad Hatter, Roger, and Alice, and the staff for providing us with this kind of an evening. I think everyone ate well, enjoyed their meals. So let's have a round of applause for Roger. Personally, and I think uh, it's going to be nothing but good things this year for the Danbury Whalers. Thank you all for your support, and we look forward to a couple weeks this weekend, and uh, we'll just keep them all rolling. Yeah. So, thank you for coming. Before we let this guy get down here, he has won three professional championships. Is that correct? Yeah. 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 my power to make sure it happens for a fourth time. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a common denominator in winning championships, and I think if you've been around a team that's won one, you know what it is, and I'm not going to tell you because it's a secret, and you have to be a hockey player perhaps to kind of get that kind of a knowledge and wisdom, but like anything in life, um, you want to be successful, it takes hard work, dedication, commitment, sacrifice, and that's what we're going to try to do this year. All right, Nick Deshane. All right, here he is. The most valuable player, or most valuable member of any organization in the federal hockey, head coach, director of hockey operations, Phil Esposito. Thanks everybody for coming. I said it before, um, you, we wouldn't be here without you. I appreciate all the support you guys give us, and especially those guys sitting back at the back table there. They really appreciate it. I, we, we've done this a couple of times now in the last couple of months, and every time I get up here, I kind of say, say the same thing. But basically what I'm going to say this time is, is uh, 
We recruited, we brought in all these guys here. I, I think I got the best team in the league, and, and if not one of the best teams that I, I think I've ever put together. Um, everybody back there that's sitting at that table right there is a character guy like Nick was talking about, and this is what we need to put together to build a championship team. So, I mean, basically what I'm going to tell you now is the time for talk is over. Tomorrow night you guys are going to see what we put together, and it's probably going to be one of the best things you guys have ever seen in Danbury. So uh, it'll be great to see you guys uh, back at the arena tomorrow night. And, uh, and hopefully we'll come out of this weekend up three games, uh, three wins and, and no losses this weekend. And we'll start the season off right. Thank you very much. There's, there's another member. I mean, he's kind of on the outskirts of the staff. But I want to give this guy some special recognition because you might have woken up this morning to an incredible video. The man who produced it all. Right there, Ben Moody. The man behind Jersey Boy. tonight at the Mad Hatter in Danbury here and if there are if there are two people that you root for to be successful it is Roger and Alex. These guys, if you've met them, you know what I'm talking about. Let me tell you, these people are the salt of the earth. Seriously, they, they have been so good to the Danbury Whalers players, management, organization, and the next step is we wanted to create a night where we introduce the Danbury Whaler fans to Roger and Alice. Mad Hatter, all the things that they do. It's the best shrimp we've ever had. Great service, great food. We're going to bring them up in a minute. Let me tell you some of the things these guys are doing for the Danbury Whalers fans this year. Number one, they created the Danbury Whalers Whale of a Pizza. 36 inches around, unfinishable by any human. <laughs> Danbury Whaler Pizza, the Whaler Pizza is going to be a great thing. We have a promotion this year called Guess the Goal. We are going to take one fan at the start of every game, and we're going to say to them, who is going to score the first goal of the game for the Danbury Whalers? So if you say Chris Clark is going to score the first goal, and Chris Clark scores the first goal for Whalers, that night every fan in the building wins a free slice of pizza courtesy of Roger and Al. Awesome. Game party here throughout. We're gonna have a bunch of post game parties throughout the season. This is gonna be a great spot, but I want to bring up Roger and Alice, the owners and operators of the Mad Hatter
sure to check out the channel. Hey, you guys got a bucket handy just in case? <laughs>